to my channel i am diamond 76 and welcome and if you are new to my channel uh please um subscribe to my channel don't forget to click that bell um for any video uploads or notifications what i want to do is i want to bring a quick small haul to you guys today i went into the dollar tree and yesterday i went to uh targets and i got three items from targets yesterday because i'm doing a project with that now let me go ahead and get started because I don't want this video to be too long and I went into the Dollar Tree and I had this great idea because I was trying to think of how I can bring the Christmassy feel into my beauty room and when I saw this particular item then it dawned on me and hit me I'm like okay that that will work perfectly um which I hope it will um let me go ahead and get started with the dollar tree items first and the first thing that i got was this right here and it is a christmas tree and it's 18 inches high and this is it right here and i'm glad that it has the little stand that comes with it and that top looks a little too long but i'm gonna see um how i can i may have to wind up cutting some of the top off of it but um and i've already have it open and i took it out because i wanted to see then this is small <laughs> but what i'm going to do is i'm going to um fluff it out um bring everything out and see um what i'm working with and this is not as long as i thought but i still if i want to put something on top of it i can bend it or just uh, because what I do with my my big size Christmas tree is that I find myself having to have to bend this over to put the bell or anything that I want to put on top of it um, or like an angel. But um, I thought this would work really well because it is small. And what I may have to do is I may have to remove some of the items that I do have behind me where I do sit and do my filming. And um, I just thought this would be an excellent idea to bring that Christmas element into my beauty room. So and this is the tree right here and that is the stand um at the bottom so i'm going to see how that is going to work and this is what i thought about too when um i got these two lanterns right here um this is in my previous haul and it's been working perfectly uh because the the led candle that's in here uh, because it does have a timer on it, it comes on every night at 9 o'clock, both of them, because I have two of these. And the tray that I did um, in one of my videos, um, it it has the, the smaller lights in it, and it comes on at the same time um, these uh, LED uh candles come on and it is so beautiful at night and i know i did that a little early but i wanted to go ahead and get the ideas and any um thing that i want to show with you guys that i do for the christmas season i wanted to go ahead and bring it to you but i'm not going to put up my big christmas tree until the night of thanksgiving but uh, some of the dec decorations that i am doing i may have to just leave them up for um, because like I said, I just want to share my thoughts and processes with you guys of what I see and what will look good, um, during the Christmas holidays. Now, with this right here, I picked up these bowls at the Dollar Tree as well. What I thought about doing was taking the bowl, is cricket, taking one of the bowls and putting it onto here like this, you know, and this one is for the other one. And I picked up these bells right here in the Dollar Tree. Um, and I do have two of them, as you can see. And what I thought that I may do with this is put this under the red bow. Um, kind of 
like this and have that hung like that and I thought that would be perfect to um to be able to showcase this because this is uh this and the tree is going to be my main items um including the tray um that I sit behind so that way I can bring in that Christmas feel and also I thought about doing with this lantern too is I'm not sure if this is going to work or not um, it may be too big. I picked up this star in the Dollar Tree as well, and it's swinging. Okay, and I picked up two of these, and I thought about placing this on the inside of this, right in front of this candle, and so that way it will illuminate. But like I said, with the bow, I don't know if I'm going to hang this like on the side or how how I'm going to do it, but. I'm going to um, figure figure that out, but like I said, I got two of them, and I just thought it would be a perfect idea to bring in that Christmas feel, feel, <laughs> not feel, feel, um, uh, the holiday feeling, you know, to my background. And the next thing that I picked up from the dollar store was I picked up this right here. And this is the garland. And I hope you can see the, um, the stars that are on the garland. And it is silver because I'm going with red and silver if I can. And I was going to use that to wrap around the tree as well. Now, this is what I do to my big tree um, upstairs when I put that up. I did a video, um, a live stream, where I was explaining how I do my bigger Christmas tree. And what I do is I take um, wired edge ribbon like this. Um, the one I have for my big tree is red and silver. I have two of them. And what I'm going to do is um, wrap this inside of the of, of the tree. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to have of this. And this says, Bright Joyful Christmas Wishes. Okay. And like I said, I've got to, I got to play with it for a little while just to see how I want to do it. Um, if I can use it, I'm going to use it. Um, usually because the tree upstairs is bigger, I do use the garland, um, a bigger garland and I use ribbon, wire, wire ribbon like this on my bigger tree upstairs. And no one knows that everything that I got for that tree is from the Dollar Tree no one everyone thinks that i spent a lot of money because i like to i like presentation i like for whatever i do uh to have that diamond touch on it <laughs> okay and the next thing that i got i did get some um led lights for the christmas tree and like i said everything is small so um I'm hoping that everything works out and these have the snowflakes on them. I'm not sure if you can see it because of the glare. Yeah, but these um, are LED lights and like I said, um, I'm not sure if these have the timer on it. Um, it's not saying that it does have the timer on it but if it doesn't, I have another one upstairs that I can use because I want everything to come on at a certain time and I want everything to turn off at a certain time and that's the reason why I say is when I talk about the string lights or the uh, candles that are inside of here it is very important to make sure that it has the timer on it so everything can just go off and come on and I don't have to run around um, trying to turn everything off it just goes off and comes on um, on its own and the LED candle that's in here you want to see it the tray it has the timer lights on those string lights and this comes on every night at nine o'clock and I live um, in Eastern time this comes on the tray lights come on and it is so beautiful at night it really is now, the next thing that I got is the Sparkle Tool. 
Um, I hope I'm saying that correctly. And I got this in silver. And what I thought about doing is if it's not too much, um, to see if I can put it in the back to tie it on to the lantern. Um, but if it, but it does have the wire back here. So if I have to use this and can't use this, I'll try to find something else to do with this. I don't know, but like I said, I'm going to, um, have to, you know, mess with it for a little while to see. And the next thing that I got was I got these two small LED, um, this, uh, early LED flickering. It says flickering effect. So it's supposed to give that fl flickering. I can't talk today. It's supposed to give that flickering effect. And what I was going to do with these is I bought two of these. And what I was going to do is take one of the, one of these and sit it on the, you know, just sit it flat down and sit this on top of it. And because of the design that is in the bell, that is going to be, it's going to illuminate the design and that is going to be so beautiful. And that is with me when it comes to using lighting and using any kind of decorative piece like this, I want it to illuminate. You know, when all the lights are off, you know, you it, it'll just look so beautiful and it will just bring in that Christmas feel and effect um, to any room that you decide to use these in, even if you use these on top of your fireplace, um, even if you use them on a bookshelf, putting this inside of here, um, like I said, will just illuminate the room because, um, I could have gotten red, but I chose silver and, um, I thought that was going to be really pretty. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. And nextly, I went to Target and I picked up a wall mirror. And this is it right here. And I can't remember the price. I took the mirror. I took the mirror out of here because I'm doing a DIY project with it. And I started filming some of that. And then I came to a screeching halt because I had to let the glue dry. So I'm going to show you what I did with that because I'm doing a small gallery wall in my master bedroom. And this mirror right here, it is round. And I think this was like 30 something dollars. And this is from the Threshold Collection. It is a wall mirror beveled edge. And this is... Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be in a project that I'm going to show you that I am recording. Um, but like I said, I came to a screeching halt because I got so many things on my mind that I want to do. I also picked up two picture frames. This one I picked up in white from Target. And this one was $19.99. And I'm thinking, because I took everything out of the package, I had it upstairs. And I had to go back upstairs to get it. So, um, and this is how big this is. And I, I can't, it, it doesn't have the size on here. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. But I think that's 11 by 14. I'm not sure. And I think this one is two. And I picked up the gold one. And this one was also $19.99, um, as I just uh, stated. And like I said, I'm doing a small gallery wall in my room. Um, and um, I'm in the process of filming that too. So I got so many projects going on. My main goal is to bring and show you as much as I can about how to bring in the Christmas elements, but still um, doing projects in my home. And that is my granddaughter that you hear yelling. Um, to bring in as much Christmas elements as I can. And like I said, um, and I may be contradicting myself because I had just said that I was not going to put up any Christmas items until Thanksgiving night. Um, but because I'm doing these projects, I don't want to take them back down 
and then having to have to redo them or trying to store them somewhere. So I, I may have contradicted myself, but I'm not going to put up the big stuff until uh, Thanksgiving night for my grandkids. Okay, but let me go ahead and end this video uh, because I got so much that I'm that I'm doing um, right now in my home, doing regular decor and then trying to think of Christmas um, elements and decor that I can bring into the home. So um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click that bell for any video notifications as I said in the beginning of the video. And no matter where you are in the world, day or night, I hope everyone is having a good day or a good night. And always remember to always put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do in your home, whether it's fashion or decor. And I will see you guys in my next video. And again, my name is Diamond76 and I will talk to you guys later.